Hello, this is a Felkneven PXL Ivory Micarta pocket knife. A locking pocket knife with a clip from Felkneven. I'm, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. I've looked it up and I've, I'm trying my best, but there's a Swedish knife brand. You, you know them. You guys know them. They're pretty bloody awesome. They make some incredible um, EDC bushcraft knives. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, it's a chunky fella, serious piece of kit, this, the PXL. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you around it. Uh, I'm not an expert in um, in knives, as uh, familiar viewers will will know. What we do on this channel is have a look at stuff. So I'm going to show you around what I've got in my hand. We'll have a look at some of the details. Um, I'll try and tell you a little bit about what... I've found out uh, about it, but uh, I'm in, in in no way uh, an expert on uh, knives, but I, I know what I like and I like looking at them. So let's look at this one together. So the Felkneven PXL, let's zoom in on the len on, on the blade there, PXL, Felkneven 3G steel. So it's a laminate powder steel, stainless steel, and you can see uh, this line on the blade, the bottom of the blade there, and that's, I'm told, you can see the laminated bits of steel. So it's got lots of layers of steel and it makes it laminated. Now, I don't know much about metal, but the laminated steel makes for incredible sharpness and sharpness retention. So it's super sharp and it stays sharp for a long time. So it's really sturdy stuff uh, and, and it's stainless so it doesn't mark. Let's have a show of the actual movement of the of the knife. So it's a, it's a one hand opening liner lock pocket knife but if you do wear it in your pocket you're gonna have to be have quite a sturdy belt because it weighs just around 180 grams so it's a heavy bugger and it's big it's a big thing. It's a heavy duty EDC pocket knife, I would say. So closed, it's uh, 11 centimeters and it's pretty thick. It's, it's, I'm, I'm saying all these things uh, and it makes it sound like it's a bad thing. It's not my usual kind of thing. I, don't, I carry lightweight stuff often, one and a half centimeters thick. But if you want a sturdy, heavy duty pocket knife that folds, this is your, this is your, the answer to your prayers. So open, I mean it's longer than my ruler. No, it's not. Nineteen and a half, sorry, nineteen and a half centimetres fully open. And the blade itself, let's measure it from say from there to tip. Just under nine centimetres, eight point seven centimetres, shall we say? So it's got this thumb stud here. So it's uh, ambidextrous, shall we say? Um, so I'm right-handed. I can open it with my right hand. Very easy to open. It's got a lovely bit of shaping going on there. So you can easily just push the thumb stud. Clicks open. Absolutely rock solid. I mean, it's like a fixed blade, pretty much. Once it's locked in place, that's pretty much a fixed blade. Um, I say it's ambidextrous. Uh, the stud is on the left. It's, it hasn't got the, the, the shaping there that gives access, plus the clips that side. I can't move the clip onto the other side. So, I mean, you can, you can do it left-handed. Does that count? Oh, no, you can't, can you? Because then you, then you can't close it left-handed. Or well, you can. I don't know about left-handed. If you're left-handed, tell me how you fare in the, in the uh, right-handed knife world. Because I thought this thumb stud being on both sides meant you could do it left-handed. And I suppose you can, but would you? I mean, you'd probably get your thumb chopped off closing it. A bit risky. So I mean, it's perfect for right hands. And it's just a, it's a satisfying, very satisfying movement. Smooth, super smooth. The lock, super strong. Everything's super. Um, and it's it's strong. It's there's no wobble or anything, and it clicks into place. Let's watch it click. And there, it's absolutely rock solid. So in there, there's washers. There's probably um, some sort of uh, radium fluorescent moon rock 
coated in Jupiter dust or something exotic, I don't know. But whatever it is, it's it's like it's just floating. It's just there's no friction there. It's lovely. You've got these pins and stuff, so it's um Ivory Micata, it's called. Uh can we see? So this is a this is a user, this knife, so it's it's seen a bit of life. I mean it's still virtually pristine. Uh there's some scuffs on the bolster. It's stainless steel, the, the metal on the handle is stainless steel. There are the liners, I should say, the pins. And then ivory micata. It isn't ivory, it's the colour. It refers to the colour. So it's sort of off-white cream micata. And it's it's a really nice micata. It's it's um subtle and uh strong. Uh it's it's tactile, it's it's not grippy, it's not slippery, it's just it's just sort of neutral. Very nice. And then there's the lovely um, shield in there, Felkneven uh, shield with the three crowns. And it's just really nicely done. Very, very nicely made. Uh, there's nothing to fault uh, in there. There's uh, gaps, no, no gaps. It's all smooth, it's all good, it's all good. As you would expect from a uh, an expensive knife. This new would be in the region of uh, 380 euros. So not cheap, but you get a lot of money, a lot of knife for your money. Uh, fantastic blade shape, sort of spear point, um, swedge, swedge at the top. Oh, it's a chunky piece of steel, isn't it, that blade? Let's have a look how wide the blade is. It's just under four millimeters thick there and uh, it tapers but it's a sturdy piece of metal that you could do some damage to a cardboard box with it <laughs> opening up your next knife and then the clip let's have a look at the clip quite a short clip that's all you need though uh, deep carry so if that's sitting in your pocket you're going to have just the very very tip of the metal uh, poking out of the top of your pocket um, as I said, though, you're going to need a pretty sturdy belt because it's quite weighty. It's going to pull your pocket down. So uh, it's this kind of a work trousers, I would say, or a work bag. But it's a good clip and it's incredibly strong. Incredibly strong. Actually, flipping neck. Super strong. Really, really. I, I'm, I'm straining to bend that. So it's incredible. Incredible piece of uh, engineering, I would say. What do you reckon? It's a, it's a beast. It's a beast. I'm going to say it's a beast. It's a really cool beast. Beautifully made. Um, superb. Uh, I've got a bit of moisture. I, was just, I cleaned the knife before, we, uh, before I came on air, I should say. Uh, and um, it's got a little bit of moisture still in there. I'll dry it out properly in a minute. What do you reckon? Beast? That's what I'm calling it. Would you agree? Very, very capable. Perhaps more capable than than, uh, than I would ever need in my everyday life. But maybe it would suit you. Lovely thing. Fantastic. Right, there we go. So uh, if you'd like to have a look around my channel, please feel free. I would be delighted. There's lots of other knife reviews on there. I also do watches and EDC gadgets. So have a look around. Click like. That would be fantastic. Subscribe. Comment below. All the usual YouTube stuff. I'd be delighted to join in with you if you've uh, got something nice to say. Um, thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you soon.